Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As the Paris Air Show in France kicks off today, Airbus has announced that they are launching the Airbus A321 XLR program, which is aimed at replacing aging mid-haul mid-sized aircrafts such as the Boeing 757 and the Boeing 767, among older Airbus types as well. This will come as a huge blow to Boeing as they anticipate the prospect of launching their own new middle-of-the-market aircraft, or the NMA, dubbed by many as the Boeing 797. Airbus launched the re-engined A320 family of aircrafts back in December of 2010, aimed at replacing older A319, 320 and 321 CEO aircrafts, or CEO standing for current engine types. The NEO aircraft or new engine option planes quickly soared in demand as fuel prices became more of a concern for airlines. Ever since then, they have been highly popular amongst customers, arguably beating rival Boeing's MAX series of aircraft. Just a few years back, one of the NEO families got a range modification, this being Airbus's A321 NEO aircraft. The A321 NEO developed a newer variant known as the A321LR, standing for long range, in a bid to capture a larger market share of the mid-haul flight sector. That very plane, the A321LR only recently entered service with Israeli airline Arkea. However, at this year's Paris Air Show, Airbus has evidently announced an even superior aircraft, the A321XLR, or the A321neo XLR, standing for extra long range. In this picture from Airbus's Twitter page, you can clearly see some of the capabilities of this new model. Being able to fly distances such as Dubai to Reykjavik in Iceland, Rome to New York in America, and Auckland to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia opens up a whole new world of possibilities for airlines aiming to capture new markets with single aisle aircraft. It is estimated that Airbus will announce orders close to around 200 units of the type just over the coming weeks at the Paris Air Show, so clearly it is expected to be a great win for the aircraft manufacturer. As far as the cabin and interior product of the new XLR model, it is unlikely to be much different from the original A321neo and A321LR models, as the XLR model is purely focused on extending the range capabilities of the model. The A321XLR will fit well into the NEO family of aircrafts, complementing the other various NEO jets Airbus already has in production. As more news arises regarding the Airbus A321 XLR situation and further airshow news, I will attempt my best to cover it in the following videos, despite mid-year exams currently ongoing. If you want to keep up to date with the latest aviation news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.